And now at six, one South Florida filmmaker made his mark with his highly successful documentary about the 80s drug wars called Cocaine Cowboys. And now Billy Corbin has taken parts of that storyline and focused on a few real life characters for a theatrical play called Confessions of a Cocaine Cowboy. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo takes us on stage. You want me to put them in that chair. You want me to kill them. Confessions of a Cocaine Cowboy on Now at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach is a new play based on the hit documentary film directed by Miami's own Billy Corbin. But Corbin says this play is not a rehash of the film. Oren Squire, uh, my, my, my co-author who's now writing uh, The Good Fight for CBS, um, he, I told him and I told Michelle Hausman, the director of the play, I said, this has to be a purely theatrical experience. If people in Miami are going to have to put their pants on, leave their homes, brave this traffic and pay their, their hard-earned money to see this show, they better not feel like, oh, I could have just sat home and watched this on Netflix. The play chronicles Miami's brutal drug wars of the 1980s through the life of Jorge Rivi Ayala, the assassin of notorious drug queen Griselda Blanco. Actor Yancy Arias, best known for his role in the dramatic TV series Queen of the South, plays Rivi the assassin. Who is he to you? So Rivi to me, uh, at, for the two hours that you come see this show, is a man that is free for two hours to express himself and to tell his story in the 1980s and everything that went on uh, in that time in his life and in the life of others and um, experience that freedom uh, every, every night for four nights a week. And so in those two hours, he's forgiven to come out and play and, uh -huh. and tell his story as crazy as possible. <laughs> and, and that said, the real Rivi is, of course, serving three life sentences in, in the Department of Corrections currently. There's a good cop, a bad cop, the godmother, and of course, the hitman. And although there is violence and mayhem, comedy also plays a role. But you're gonna do challenge them to a game of dominoes? <laughs> I think that's the surprising thing, is that there's a lot of, lot of humor and a lot of charm in, in the character and in, in Yancey's performance. Corbin hopes audiences here in South Florida and elsewhere will enjoy this wild ride of a play and learn something from it as well. I think this, this play reminds us of how much has changed, yet how little has, has changed. And most importantly, it says that if we do not preserve our history and learn from our history, we are doomed uh, to repeat it. Confessions of a Cocaine Cowboy is on here at the Colony Theater on Miami Beach, Thursdays through Sundays through April 7th. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News.